Let's talk about a young playmaker who's, who has been just so impressive in the last month, Isaiah uh, Katoa. Mm -hmm. Isaiah uh, Katoa there. He, um, you know, you're watching... I, I saw him last year, a lot of good raps on him, but he was a young... Like, a typical young half mm. coming into a side. He was trying to find his way. Uh, he didn't talk a lot. The last couple of weeks, there has been uh, a, a big difference mm. in the way he holds himself, his demeanour, he's talking aggressively, he's encouraging. Uh, he's just watching. He's a young player maker who's come of age. Yep. He, he looks terrific. And the other thing I really like about him, Coops, is that um, their first try the other night, when, when he plays those sweep options, block formations. He plays gun barrel straight. Mm. But even, it's just a little thing you recognise in a footballer. Just the way he went up and looked and then threw it round the back, he sort of holds himself like an old school playmaker. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, he's a very, very good footballer, yeah, a young bloke. I was going to say there's two things I picked up from his performance on the weekend. One, uh, I think it's his try, the first one. Arrow straight into the line. Um, and played a beautiful pass out the back and then he was the support player going through. If a young ball player is playing arrow straight to me, means he's not afraid to cop a whack. Yeah. Because when you run sideways, you run away from defence. When you're running straight back into someone, you could easily get a shirt full of sore ribs at some stage yeah. and that showed me he's got courage. Yes. The other part to the game that I liked, um, his king game was very good. It was that, that kick he put in in the second half for um, Nicarima's yep. try. It was perfect. Just put a little bit of bend on it to favour Nicarima. Yep. And then also he's, he spoke to us at Fox League um, after the game and he articulated himself very well. But a little bit like drink water. Like the guy's got footy IQ, mm. knows where, what went wrong, knows what he expects. And this is a kid that's played, what, 25 games or something like that. He's telling... Jesse Bromwich, he's telling uh, Kafusi, Flegler, all these guys barking, at barking orders. Now, um, that can only improve. And he, he's got a good work ethic, he's a big body. So, um, no wonder the kid um, was signed for an extension because he looks like he's got a couple of bits of the old uh, the rugby league halfback ingredients that yes. you want to build on. Wayne is so clever. Like, like, talking about Katoa, he didn't play in round one, did he? There no. was, There was... There was about five or six players yeah. that he left out of round one. Yeah. That everyone went, they what's got going smashed on? smashed by the Cowboys. And they got smashed. And Wayne being Wayne, look, people explained it to me. They said, no, no, Wayne's just making a statement to the players. He's seen something he didn't like, didn't play in round one, put a fire under him and then watch him go. Mm. Willing to take a step back for the greater good going forward. Well, we spoke about this last year with the Dolphins. If there's a Wayne Bennett team, what do they do? They're well disciplined, mm. they complete their sets and they defend well. They compete on every play. Like there are three areas of the game that if you do that long enough, you'll, mm. you'll win enough games. The thing they had to get into their team was some points, some athleticism, some speed. The only real speed they had last year was Hamaso. Mm. Asako a little bit on the edges, but they've got Farmworth, um, Avarillo's through there now um, and a couple of that with... Tabio Fido going to another level. Yeah. They've got some athleticism. They're scoring points. But now injuries are taking yeah. hold of them a little bit. Mm. Battle of Brisbane this week against the Bronx. Flegler play does Farmworth. He's out for a period of time. So now they're coming back with that athleticism. Yeah. Mm. And there's going to be a lot more responsibility on the hammer and Katoa to do a, a really good job and keep this momentum. And that's, uh, that's what Wayne's good at, isn't it? Recognising, OK, yep. we can't win playing this way, let's just adjust our style a little bit. Yep. We'll talk about Parramatta a little bit later, but, you know, I was watching Parramatta against Canberra and Mitchell Moses is irreplaceable if you still want to play the same, same way. way. Yep. If you want to play the same way, he's yep. irreplaceable. Yep. They've, they've, if, they're, if they're going to keep Dylan and Blaze in the halves, they've got to change their yep. style, but that's by the boy. Um, I think the Broncos are in the same boat. No Adam Reynolds. Yeah. I'm going to say well, that, they're in the same, that's it. same yeah. boat. Yeah. It was them against the Melbourne Storm. They came up with some points in that second half, but it was pure individual brilliance. Um, Mam on the kick, Selwyn Cobbo had some class touches yep. and when Broncos are up and running, it's the, the goal, the game plan of Adam Reynolds complementing Ezra and Reese Walsh. Now with no Adam Reynolds, you know, do they still play the same style? Mm. Because I think Ezra Mann for me needs improvement in natural ball playing. He is athletic to a T. He is fast, his footwork, he can break through any line. 
but his ball play needs to evolve yeah. to become that, that other area of his game. Yeah, without a doubt. And what a, lo what a loss it was with Adam Reynolds at half-time. Yeah. I'm hoping it is. They're saying the scan shot is only minor, but when, when you grab a hamstring right at the bottom, at the tendon, yeah. that can be really problematic. You know, the other thing, too, is his reaction. So the cameras caught him banging on the field yeah. and then emotionally. Yep. Um, now, through my experience, like, if you do that... Uh, you, as a player, you know it's something more than just a, a minor one-weeker. Yeah. So I, will, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know Coops, that. I will say this. I had, back into my career, a lot of hamstring injuries. They really sap your confidence. And every time you feel it go a little bit or strain, you're devastated. Yeah. Because mentally, you're back in that place. Coops. It's very hard mentally. Like, once you do a hamstring and you start sustaining hamstring, it takes a lot to get your confidence back into running. Because all the soft tissues, like, if you're 100% physically ready, it drops you back to 90. Do another one, drops you back to 85. It does. It just keeps dropping you, you just, back. You, you just... And again, we come back to Tom Trevojevic last year. Yeah. You just don't have the confidence to squeeze. Yeah. There were times when I'm sort of nursing a hamstring and I know it's not 100% right and a gap would open. Yeah. And you, you go, oh, no. Yeah. You know, you're just quite... But but Reynolds has that style of play and the pieces around him that he doesn't need to be the line breaker. He he doesn't mm. need to accelerate super hard to set, get through and set up a try. He the way he plays is condensing defence and creating space for others. And I think he can do that. GC, uh, the loss in that second half. The, 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 I thought they were fantastic. Uh, we'll talk about the storm in a second. Uh, I thought they were good, given the fact there's no Haas, um, yeah. no Walsh. They lose Renault at half-time, and I tell you what, what a win that would have been if they won yeah. that in Melbourne. Um, Probably should have. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, if Renault stays on yeah, the field, a couple they of their, do. And not to knock Walters or um, Ezra Mann, but a couple of their decisions, options, mm. where to kick the ball. Like, Reynolds gets that. And he, well, he yeah. puts it in a bad spot, and therefore Melbourne don't have the opportunity. Well, we tend to go, they've they got a four-point lead. Yeah. And it's, it might be the last tackle, fourth or fifth tackle, and Selwyn just does a little chip over the yep. top. A yep. little instinctive kick. Yep. Now, if, Reno, if Reynolds is on the field, yep. that doesn't happen. Yep. But even the Ezra Mam try in the second half, I think it was Walters kicks it, and it lands in that yuck area. Mam comes through and scores, right? Yep. That's one in a hundred chance of doing it. Yep. The decision to kick in a long field position, put it in the area where Papenhausen and Warbrick have to come out. Like, that's the decisions that are played at the back end of the game. 